Richard Dreyfuss is an American actor known for his roles in a wide range of films, including Jaws, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, The Goodbye Girl, American Graffiti, and Mr. Holland's Opus. He was born on October 29, 1947, in Brooklyn, New York, and began his acting career in the late 1960s. Dreyfus's performance in The Goodbye Girl earned him an Academy Award for Best Actor in 1977, and he has been nominated for several other awards throughout his career, including Golden Globe and Emmy Awards. He is also known for his work in theater and has appeared on Broadway in productions such as The Producers and Sly Fox. In addition to his acting career, Dreyfus is also an activist and has spoken out on a variety of political and social issues. He has been an advocate for improving education in the United States and has been involved in efforts to promote civics education and media literacy. Furthermore, Dreyfus has been open about his struggles with drug and alcohol addiction, and has been a vocal supporter of addiction recovery programs. He has also been involved in environmental causes and is a member of the board of directors of the Environmental Media Association. Dreyfus has continued to work in film and television, with recent roles in shows such as Your Family or Mine, Shots Fired, and The Last Laugh. He has also lent his voice to several animated projects, including the Kung Fu Panda franchise and Phineas and Ferb. Overall, Richard Dreyfus has had a successful and varied career in the entertainment industry, and has used his platform to advocate for causes he believes in. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences is introducing four new diversity and inclusion standards for films to be considered for an Oscar nomination. However, Richard Dreyfus, an Oscar winner and nominee, criticized the standards in an interview with PBS Firing Line with Margaret Hoover. He argued that art should not be subject to the latest moral standards and defended white actors portraying black characters in blackface. He called the standards patronizing and thoughtless, treating people like children. Two of the four new standards must be met for a film to be submitted for Best Picture consideration. Dreyfus's comments have sparked controversy and debate, with some criticizing his views as tone-deaf and insensitive to the experiences of marginalized communities. Others have defended his right to free expression and artistic interpretation. The new diversity and inclusion standards have been seen as a step towards promoting greater representation and inclusivity in Hollywood, which has faced criticism for its lack of diversity both on and off screen. However, some have argued that the standards may be too prescriptive and limiting, and could potentially stifle artistic expression. The ongoing conversation around the Oscars' inclusion standards highlights the complex and often contentious relationship between art and social issues, as well as the ongoing efforts to promote greater diversity and inclusivity in the entertainment industry.